So guys, this is the tier four shotgun of the bounty hunter class. I would like to say this is probably the worst gun of the bounty hunter class. I don't know why they ranked it as tier four, but it's really bad. It's really underpowered. It takes at least three shots to kill somebody if you're right next to them. And it has no range whatsoever. Like if you're in a long range gunfight, you're not gonna win, just give up. Like I normal times I would try to stay in close range places cause I know no matter what I do, I can shoot the whole entire clip right into them. I won't get the kill. It just literally does no damage at long range. It's just really bad. Even at close range, it still sucks. It takes three kills to kill somebody no matter how close you are to them. I guess they're trying to make it seem, I don't know, not overpowered like the rapid fire shotgun was in MC4 but it's not. And I was really hoping that MC5 would make a rapid fire shotgun. And when I found that they did in this new update, I was so happy about it, except the price point, but I was still really happy about it. And when I started using this thing, it just really sucks. It's really the worst gun of the Bounty Hunter class. It's just a really bad gun. I suggest you would probably never want this gun. It's not good at all. It's not even fun to use. And the thing about it is, it doesn't look like a rapid fire shotgun. They did they didn't do any rapid fire shotgun animations. It doesn't sound like a rapid fire shotgun. It sounds like a Ufia. I think they're just really lazy with it and they decided to just call it a rapid make it shoot like a rapid fire shotgun, but not add any animations or any sounds. That's probably one of the worst things about it. So overall it's just a really bad gun, except you can get easily easy headshots and it's rapid fire. That's all I have to say about this gun. Please leave a like, and if you really care, subscribe. Peace, guys. Thank you.